Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Giving you the truth. And this one, let me just give you a disclaimer before I talk about this. So every time somebody tells the truth about dating and relationships, and, and it seems harsh on women, just understand that if this ain't talking about you, then this ain't for you. Like this ain't but a lot of women need to hear uh, about their shortcomings because they're trained from young children up sometimes to just uh, butter, be buttered up, if you will, to be uh, complimented, so on and so forth. But when we look at their body of work at, on these jobs and relationships, so on and so forth, we who have functioning brains fully understand that you can't just compliment them. So a lot of what I'm going to say in this one is going to seem a little bit harsh. But that's not the intention of it. The intention is to help men. And you got to understand that it's a couple reasons why guys are, are so into getting married, so on and so forth, if you will. Some of it's brainwashing. Some of it, let's be honest, some guys have found the most high and they just believe that that's what he will want. That is what he will want is for us to get married, but not to women who won't submit, not to women who are 304s, not to women who have thoughty, thoughtiness in their minds. The most high understands everything and he knows that you can't marry a lot of these women from today. And that's why he gave the prophecy in Isaiah 4 and 1. To give us a little bit of understanding who will be living in these days when this stuff starts to play out. Now, if you don't understand the scripture, then you're going to get manipulated by women. You're going to be manipulated to spend all this money on weddings that most of the marriages don't even last you're going to be manipulated to cater to a woman when she's supposed to cater to you, according to the Bible. Now, if you're an evil lady who doesn't believe in the Bible, then <clears throat> I would just tell you to shut this video off. Don't watch any of my videos because you're going to hear a lot about the Bible. The Bible makes it clear that the head of every woman is the man. The Bible makes it clear that when Eve, who... There was no, in the beginning, her job was just to help. The Most High wasn't clear according to what's written as to what her actual role was other than to help Adam. And that's in part what led to what happened in the Garden of Eden. But after that happened, he said that a man will rule over you. Now, this is God talking. So if you don't believe in God, then why why are you tra even trying to get married? Because marriage is his. He, he founded it. He created it. So why are some of you women even trying to be married if you don't want to do it the way the founder set it up? When they sinned by eating the forbidden fruit, he said that man shall rule over you. So when you say, when you in a marriage and you think that you're equal with your husband, or you're in a marriage and you think that you're supposed to be in control, happy wife, happy life, all this stuff goes against God. Because he said, and you can go back and read it for yourself, that man shall rule over woman. Now, now, okay, so when you say that's misogynist, you're saying God is a misogynist. Stop going to church. Get your spiritual bags ready for a trip to hell. You say, oh, he's mis that's misogyny. A lot of people don't realize just exactly why the Most High has to be so merciful because a lot of people blaspheme him every day. Like if you insult something that he created, for instance, then you're not insulting a person. You might think you're insulting a person you don't respect. But you insulting him. 
When you talk against polygyny, you're insulting him. What you really should say is I'll never partake in that and so on and so forth. Because clearly, clearly reading the scriptures, polygamy, polygyny was established by God. Like, I mean, I don't even got to go to before David. He gave David all of Saul's wives. So whether or not you practice it, that's up to you. But don't start insulting. Don't start calling it evil. Don't start calling it adultery. Is God adulterous? I think not. So that brings me to my points. First point. All of y'all women who think y'all all this and all that. Take away your ability to have S-E-X with men. What do you offer? If you can, if you were unable to perform any type of se actual duties, what do you offer? What is it that you can offer? Because nine times out of ten, he's more wise than you. He's more strong than you. These women trying to walk around like they so smart and get them in a dark room with a dude that they like and a dude that's connected to them, and let's see what they don't do. And I, I'm talking about all of them right there. My wife included every woman. If a lot of these women, most of them, I would say 99% of them, you get them alone with nobody knowing, and the guy gets the, their, their sweet spots, if you will. He gets to get into those sweet spots. How many of them would actually stop him based on their morals, based on their loyalty to some other guy? I would say 1% or less. And that's why, and that's how what I'm thinking every time when I hear some of them talk. Like they just so wise, so strong. You would do anything. Shut up. Man. Like just what just embrace the role that the most high gave you. And stop trying to go against. It. See? These women want to be wives and stuff like that, remarrying all this other stuff. But most of them are just going to be dead weight. How many women actually be, you tell them your dreams, you tell them what you want to do, and they like, yeah, go ahead. And matter of fact, I'm going to help you. Not many. Not many at all. It's going to be emotion, 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 emotion. What does her emotions feel safe with you doing? What does her emotions feel good about what you're doing? Never make decisions based on her emotions. If you're going to make emotional decisions, let it be your own. Because you're going to sink or swim on your own. And like I always say, I've said it in many videos that a lot of these, a lot of them, they'll be talking you out of your dreams. And if you still with them when y'all get old and you like, I wish I would have did this. I wish I would have did that. They ain't going to have nothing else to say. They're just going to be sitting there. When they was one of the people that unfortunately some of y'all guys be listening to them and y'all don't be doing what you want to do and what you know how to do. They'll just keep you in a job. They'll keep you in a job because they want you to get your paycheck, give it to them or give them a portion of it so that they can try to make themselves feel better. And they won't feel better. And you guys need to understand, you can't make them happy, man. When they start talking, be like, look, look, just cut them short like I can't make you happy and it's not my job. Now, in the first year of marriage, the Bible says, you know, you're supposed to take off that year and spend time with her. But how many of y'all can actually do it? You pay too much for the wedding to do that. You trying to please Bridezilla with the wedding. 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. And then some of y'all, this, this, this is what a lot of guys have dealt with and are dealing with. 
You tell them everything that you have, right? And then when you go through divorce, they say, they start repeating everything that you have. Because you told them everything you have, like you was just guaranteed to be with them. You clearly don't know about women. Because I knew a long time ago, like I used to be against marriage. Because I saw female nature firsthand as a 22-year-old. Woman lied about being married. They used to lie and say, you know, all kind of stuff. So I already know about it. They supposed to be in the church saved. You going over there every day doing the same day after day after day after day. I thought you were saved. What are you saved from? So I already kind of knew about female nature. Breaking up with you for the other guy, Monkey Branson. Monkey Branson, in the 80s and 90s, Monkey Branson was still going on. Before some of us was even able to work, girls was monkey branching to the guy that they thought dressed better, to the guy that they thought was cuter, to the guy that they thought was lighter skinned if they had that colorism in them. So that monkey branching, that always went on, man. Like, why my glasses look crooked? Um, but if you take, again, if you take away the sex aspect, what do any, and matter of fact, even if you don't take away that aspect with some, some of these women are so tainted and so beat up in their organs in their genital area that they ain't gonna be nothing impressive with when it comes to that that's why a lot of them be backing out of it oh, i'm tired uh, no are you tired or have you done too much and you don't really want to do it no more that's what it is with some of them they figure, oh, I got them now. We married. So now is they went from being a 304 to not refusing the one that's taking care of them, the one that's giving them the money, the one that's going protecting them. There's a, how dare any of you women give the guy that committed to you your worst? That's how you know some of them are evil, man. Because the one that committed to you is supposed to get the best. They give you, you the worst. They did things to ex-boyfriends that they refusing to do to you. And you married to them. And it's because guys be taking it. Man, it, to, the truth of the matter is, it's time for some of us to take that financial hit through divorce. That's just... It's just the truth. You going here, you running here, you doing this, you doing that. And you getting rewarded with disrespectful speech, arguments, hearing about other guys. Now, some of us just suckers, man. We sucker butts. We're sitting back and letting her do this stuff. And not only that, They'll manipulate you with the Bible, too. That's why I said a lot of the stuff is guys who are trying to live for God. They being manipulated the most. Because they don't they think that. They don't understand what the Bible is really saying. Yeah, the Bible talks about adultery, but the Bible also gave you the permission to divorce a wife. If you find indecency in it. indecency is broad, it's even unsubmissiveness. But her, it don't tell her the same thing. It The woman has to basically wait until the husband grants her divorce and they still might not. If if she, through her misbehavior, caused him to grant her the, the, the divorce, I'm stuttering, the, the Most High may not even accept it and he might not even accept her next relationship in his eyes. Because her behavior led to the divorce. Whether she was cheating, 
whether she had an emotional affair, whether she just was being a bleep. So he might not always accept the divorce. He might look at it like, nah, you caused that. You were supposed to be more submissive than that. But they think because he ain't talking and we can't see him, that he, for some reason, don't know about them. They take them for a week and it's going to come back on a lot of them. It already came back on some of them that passed away. It's going to come back on a lot more of them as we get closer to the end of days. And we don't even see it on earth, Isaiah 4 and 1. But take away that sex aspect. What do they really offer? Most of them ain't nothing but a big mouth, disrespectful, entitled little children. That's grown, but not grown mentally. Grown, but not grown uh, spiritually. And that's why, like, in our lifetime, I think we should spend more time with God than these women. I think you should spend more time in prayer, trying to learn what to do, the wise moves you should make, than dealing with these women. Spend more time praising God, thanking them for the life that you have, than dealing with these women. Why? Because they're going to do, either they're going to cheat, they're going to embarrass you. They're going to disrespect you. They're going to, it's, it's, it's more bad with today's woman than good. That's just the honest truth. You can't get mad at nobody for telling the truth. You, yeah, I mean, some of these women on here act like we not paying attention. Like we don't got sisters, a mother, a lot of stuff. I, my mother doesn't show me. No, no, I love my mother. No disrespect, but it's just a fact. People at work, like some of these women, you could barely work with them. You'd be ready to quit just to get away from them. All the little catty, little telling, all the little weak stuff they do, trying to get you and other guys into it. trying to question your intelligence when they don't have no morals, no code. They just living, eating, eating, farting, peeing and peeing. And you guys, you, you save guys especially. You need to watch my video. I'm going to be making a lot of videos showing y'all how to be in these marriages. Don't ever let your wife give you a look like she running stuff in public. You lean over in her ear and be like, don't you ever do that again. And if she be like, why are you talking about that? Be like, you heard me. Don't do that again. You trying to act like you a man and I'm a mouse or something. Sometimes you got to argue. And then she talk about leaving. This is what we need to do from now on. When the woman talks about leaving you, make sure that she does. Because she, if she's saying, remember that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. I'm going to do a video on that. But remember... When she says things, it's already in her to do it. So when she talks about leaving you, she probably done already been on text in the email with other guys before anything physical even happens. She already doing stuff. And then she'll come back and question you and badger you like she ain't did nothing. That's evil. That's evil. She'll come back. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you all in? What are you doing? Why are you always bringing her up? Blah, blah, blah. But she, she like this. Sending flirtatious texts and comments. 
over the smartphone, over the computer. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. I'm talking about that next. The next video is going to be about that. So when people say I didn't really mean it, you said it nine times. Yeah, you did. Well, I didn't really mean that, you know, people say things when they get mad. Yeah, you did. You meant it. And this person, out of all the parking spots they could have, they come and park right in front of me. I'm just convinced that some of these people just be trying to see what you're doing. But we're going to conclude this broadcast, and y'all need to understand that without sex, S-E-X, part of life, me mentioning it alone is not violating community guidelines. The majority of these women have nothing to offer. Because they, okay, how many women are actually good with money? If It seems like it's a couple. Can't lie about it. It seems like, like I take some of my financial advice on YouTube from women. But... Whether or not they really following that stuff they saying, because you know how they can be, y'all. What do they have to offer? Some of them don't even clean the house like they used to. What? You take a waste. And then I want to talk to you married women, too. You women who are in sexless marriage, you're not giving them none. And you don't want to do it when you do. Take away that. What does he have with you? That's why when they stop doing that, it's time to move around from them. Because they'll be, okay, this is what they do. They'll try to say the guy has ED. But you ain't did nothing in eight months. And then here you come. All right, if you want to do something tonight, you know, you got to hurry up. You, know, you just, just go right into it. He ain't did nothing in eight months, probably trying to get his mind off of it. And here you come, rushing him. Then, oh, he got ED. But then the next girl, she'll be doing everything. He, I ain't, I ain't say nothing, YouTube. He, to the sky, Brett. To the sky. Would you oh, hurry up? You can bills paid. You can close. You getting the best he ever had, and his ex girlfriends is out doing you. They did more for him than you do. That's why I. And this, this stuff. I could talk about it at length, but I'm just going to close because I don't want this to ruin my day. Just thinking about all the stuff that I know about with other people and so on and so forth. And all, even all the negative stuff that I've experienced. It's just annoying. So I'm going to close this video. This is the Truth Man. The channel is no matrix, no simping, all subjects channel, all subjects. All subjects. A lot of women don't be wanting to hear these truths. You think, oh, I got them. So now you don't do none of the stuff you used to do. And if you do, you don't do it with enthusiasm or you don't do it as much. Some of these women are so blatantly disrespectful, right? They will literally wait until they're going in public to do their nails. I'm not saying you, you know, some guys, is, the guys vary. Some guys don't like nail polish and all that. But it's just the act of disrespect that you, with him, you get him second rate. But you be looking your best for none of these guys that's not doing nothing for you when they see you. Not saying you got to walk around, make up this and that.
But you should have a different mindset when it comes to the man who's taking care of you and protecting you. Some of these women, they, they ain't going to do nothing. They don't got that killer instinct. But they'll run their mouth like they so tough. And when he get tired of them, now they in the house by themselves. You in the house by yourself because you ran your protection off. And now he was he protecting somebody else when that could have been you. If you would have been more respectful, if you would have been more submissive, if you would have been more enthusiastic, if you would have viewed him in a different light. It could have been you, because once you start doing this stuff, you're going to get to a point where it's no it's a point of no return. He's going to be like, nope. We need to go on with the divorce. And then y'all get to, ah, oh, you listen to those guys on YouTube. It ain't got nothing to do with them. They didn't make you do, say, or think none of the stuff. It's you. You can't blame Coach Greg, Black Ram, Darius M, uh, BOA. You can't blame those guys. You can't blame those guys. Because for one, you don't know what's going through these these dudes mine a lot of those guys you should be happy your husband listen to them or your boyfriend but they try to blame these guys just talking about it. some of them even try to blame me that that old that dude with that gray beard and that crooked teeth none of that matters I've always had these teeth. It didn't stop nothing. I've always had, I ain't never had braces, as you can tell. I, I may straighten them out one day for myself, but, you know. But I'm finna get started. Man, it seems warm out here. But I'm getting ready to get started. I just wanted to talk about that a little bit because the delusion is off the charts. They talking all this stuff like you going to become a millionaire just by being with them. You might become a negative um, one millionaire. Be a million in a hole messing with a lot of them. Like like he doesn't need you to tell him anything. If he's that way, then he need to get in his Bible more. He need to get in prayer more. The most high give him wisdom. Just like he gave me wisdom on women. Like that's not their role. It's not their role to uh, dictate to men. That's not, that's not why he originally created them. They done got away from their roles. But that will be all. Thanks for watching. Keep tuning in. Comment, like, or dislike the video, and subscribe.